You're going to need some paper towel. This is some old recycled paper towel that we've used. Scissors, wire, and that's about it. So I'm making five or six sheets here. Just tear them off. You don't need to be precise. This is not a precise craft. Stack them up so you can cut them all at the same time and save yourself a little time. I used a plate to make myself a circle. You're going to need a circle to start with. So I just used a, a regular lunch plate. Keep it simple, make it easy, save yourself some trouble. Flipped it over. You can use whatever you happen to have. I just penciled it in. And then I'm going to give it a quick cut. So I cut all my layers at the same time to save myself some trouble. I'm all about making it as efficient and easy as I can. So just cut out your circles and get ready for the next step. Not too hard, eh? So far. And I like the texture that they have on this particular kind of uh, towel. I'm showing it to somebody on Facebook Live there. <laughs> if you want to see the Facebook Live video, I'll put the link in the description so you can pop over and check out the video I was making at the same time. All right, so get them all together, roughly. This is a rustic and farmhouse style craft, so it doesn't have to be perfect, which I love. And we're going to just fold this up. So we're going to fold it in half, and then in half again, and then in half again. And we're going for the uh, snowflake effect when you used to make those snowflakes in school and you folded them all up. So I'm going to take it apart because it's going to be too many layers and too thick and too hard to cut if I don't do a few layers at a time. So I decided to take two or three layers here and just do that. You're going to be cutting along the folded edge. You can see how many layers is there. And you're going to be cutting along the end as well, making yourself a petal shape. along the folded edge just cut a circular type shape or cut the petals here I'm cutting the petals you can go as deep as you want with the petals make it rounded as round as you like and then I'm going to cut the edges and I'm cutting a couple of big notches out of those edges just to make it look a little more interesting when you open it up so then it starts to resemble one of those snowflakes three done then I'll do three more and I'm going to make six layers on this particular flower again it doesn't matter it's up to you it's personal depending on how many layers you cut how deep you cut your, each flower is going to look different so be ready for that cut the petal you can see the rounded edges on the top of the flower. This is where that's happening, right there. So the deeper you go, the deeper the petal's gonna be. The more rounded the petal. Don't forget to cut your edges to make those little notches inside your snowflake. And 
And this is just trial and error. You keep trying until you figure out what you like the best. It's paper towel, it's not expensive. And there's plenty of it. There we go, three more. Ready to go. Okay. You can do a single layer and get more intricate with your cutting. Totally up to you. Might be a great thing for your kids to do. Keep them busy. Make every layer look different. That would be kind of fun. And now we have all our layers. So now we're going to lay them on top of each other and we're going to offset them, each layer from the other. So you don't have them all in this, going in the same direction, but you have them slightly off like that. Do you see that? The one behind is a little offset to the one in front. And you just do that with the rest of them. offsetting them all as much as I can. There we go. Again, not perfect. And we're going to fold this again now. Back up. Now it was suggested later I could accordion this and it probably would have been better, but this is what I was doing and it was a live video. So this is what I did. Folded it back and forth a couple of times and then wired the bottom triangle as tightly as I could with some craft wire, which you can see off on the side. And then you slowly just pull out the petals. Now had I accordioned it, it might be different. This way it came out looking very rose-ish looking, which I was very happy with. So again, trial and error. Each one is gonna be different. You decide what's best for you. Practice and have some fun with this. It would make some great rustic flowers for any kind of farmhouse event, I think. And they could be done in multiple sizes. So just keep pulling and playing. You could, this is like fluffing a bow. You could be fluffing this thing for hours. <laughs> See where it's starting to take shape. You just keep pushing it out, pulling it out until you're happy with the shape of it. And you have yourself a rustic flower. You can push the petals back over on themselves. And depending on the shape of your petal is going to show you, it's going to have different uh, types of flowers. So this one started out, was supposed to be a hydrangea, wound up looking more like a rose. And I was okay with that because I like a little surprise when I'm crafting. That's what creative is all about, isn't it? And you just keep fluffing it until you get it where you want it. A nice rustic paper towel flower. I'll show you the back. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs>